Well, in November uh, of this year, we'll have the, the next conference of the parties uh, meetings on, on climate change. And uh, there's, there's fairly high expectations uh, for an actual uh, agreement. Uh, and, and then uh, what will happen is countries will go, they'll make offers on the amounts of, of greenhouse gas reductions that they'll be planning to make. And, uh, and then they will have to go and, and implement uh, these, these decisions. Uh, and so this book is, in a sense, trying to, to warm up uh, for that that process. Uh, it involves a lot of actors. Uh, it involves the, 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 the grids, how you manage um, uh, electricity transmission, uh, electricity production, uh, uh, automobiles, and, and so forth. So the idea here is to try to gather uh, scholars from all over the world and look at particular cases uh, of, of what's been happening in terms of implementation of, of clean energy and, uh, and, and see what lessons uh, can be learned. So we're partnered with something called the Joint Institute for Strategic Energy Analysis, which sits within the National Renewable Energy Laboratory uh, uh, in the United States. The National Renewable Energy Laboratory is a big effort that, that looks at um, technology development, uh, uh, does uh, verification of how much solar output, uh, how much electricity output comes from a solar cell, and many, many other uh, aspects. The Joint Institute is more involved in kind of global policy, how regulatory mechanisms, how do we actually foment uh, this energy transition. Uh, we were interested in working with them and uh, we decided that the best place to start would be this political economy of clean energy um, book. Uh, we proceeded to you know, get this going uh, basically by launching a call uh, globally and, and trying to get people interested in, in joining a book project, uh, get, a, get a diversity of authors, diversity of countries. Uh, we're, we have both developed and developing country uh, authors and perspectives, and uh, and we're, uh, one of the goals is that that some we'll try to generate some synergies across these people and uh, uh, throughout the process. But that's we're at that stage right now where we're we have a group identified, we have a series of topics, we have some discussions coming up, and we want to see how to synthesize uh, uh, all of these all of these disparate uh, bits of information. We're still kind of developing. Well, what are the actual themes that are that are coming out? Uh, what we expect is uh, a certain series of themes in how do you go and, and generate this transition? So the, the the clean energy transition is is somewhat unique in that it has to be driven by policy. Uh, there's uh, almost nobody who thinks that we're going to sh reduce greenhouse gas emissions uh, uh, sort of via the market by itself. The market by itself uh, will simply rely on, on fossil fuels. So we have to, as a consequence, use a series of policy levers to make that transition happen. And, and this is where, because it's policy driven, uh, this is where the political economy becomes extremely important. Thank you.